guys, welcome to your Saturday show. Today is uh, Saturday, March 16th, and welcome to the show. I'm glad to have you guys here. Now, back, we had a situation in the stock market <clears throat> that really parallels similar to what we're having today back in 1962, you know, the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones suddenly fell off markedly, 20% decline. There was margin calls. The market went almost straight down. This really reminds me of what we're having today, really, because an awful lot of this was corporate earning problems, and we have an awful lot of corporate earning problems and corporate corporate uh, debt problems in the market today where the corporations have over-leveraged themselves into the market, past their earnings, and this is exactly what happened in 1962. We're going to analyze what happened in 1962. Uh, first off, uh, let me see. I'm going to put up a chart right here. Okay, so we can take a look at it. Uh, where is my chart? Had it here. Uh, okay, here it is, the chart from 1962. Now you can see... They had a prior when it when it started. They, the market was at seventy two point six four, and we see it dropped off suddenly due to corporate earnings problems, all the way down to fifty two point three two points. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a clip of Warren Buffett just after the crash of nineteen sixty two, and him explaining. The cause of the crash of 1962. Here's the clip. On steel, uh, probably had something to do with the timing of the decline, but I don't think it was the uh, the the, uh, the factor which uh, determined the uh, the amount of the decline. Uh, for some time, stocks have been rising at. Uh, uh, rather rapid rates. Uh, corporate earnings have not been rising. Uh, dividends have not been increasing, and. Uh, uh, it's not to be unexpected that perhaps a correction of some of those uh, uh, unusual factors on the upside might occur on the downside. Well, some observers from time to time say that the stock market is a forecaster of events to come. Can you predict or would you care to take a look at what you think this might be forecasting, the decline? Uh, the stock market has been a good forecaster uh, from time to time in the uh, past. It also has been a rather poor forecaster occasionally. Uh, for example, the last four or five years, the stock market has been booming along and uh, presumably forecasting better business, which has really not materialized. Corporate profits are, are not any better than they were five years ago, but stock prices are 50% uh, higher thereabouts. Uh, so maybe the stock market is really uh, correcting a previous incorrect forecast this time rather than making a new correct one. Well, in a nutshell, Mr. Buffett, can you give us uh, your opinion of just exactly what happened? What caused it? Well, there was... Uh, Undoubtedly, some force selling the uh, the week uh, when the stock market hit the news. The previous week, uh, prices had declined about 6% for the week on average. And uh, there was some stock that uh, was forced upon the market, both by margin calls from brokers and uh, uh, some that was uh, forced out by in, in improperly uh, secured bank loans. And this, in turn, set up a self-generating mechanism on the downside for a while, uh, which we may have seen the last of and which we may not have seen the last of. Okay, now, if you see this decline in the market in 1962, and if we analyze it further, what we see is a 27% drop in the market. But also, what happened afterwards? Now, I think that what we got coming today, now, I've been talking in my videos quite a while about an economic recovery. And... Why I say there's going to be an economic recovery is this market drop that I'm expecting to happen is along with other problems in the world, like Brexit, what's happening in Italy, slowdown in China, the Canadian real estate market, the American real estate market, Australia, huge problems, real estate markets in, in uh, the United Kingdom and in China, all rolling over. Add that to the problems of a market crash and Italy, everything together, you get a situation that 
congeals itself rather rapidly to create a whole world decline. And what can really, really trigger it is a fall in the market caused by corporate earnings. Now, how big was this fall in 1962? And how low would it take our market today if we had the exact same event happen? Well, 20% decline would take us down to 18,000. Now, can you imagine if the market fell off from where it is today, up around near nearly 26,000, all the way down to 18,000 suddenly, within a matter of, 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 of just a, a few weeks? What would that cause? What would it trigger? I'll tell you exactly what it would trigger. It would trigger a real reaction by the Federal Reserve. They would quit, not only quit raising rates, they'd probably lower the overnight rate down to zero, or even negative. And at the same time, you can expect more stimulus Huge new stimulus programs. All right. So what would be the effect of all of this? Well, we see what happened in 1962 after the after this market crash. What happened? Look at the market. It went up to a full recovery of 72.66, and it didn't stop there. It surpassed expectations and went into the, a, a, a subsequent bull run. All the way up, by by the year 1965, it was all the way up to 9406. Now, can we call that an economic recovery? This is what I'm expecting today. Exact same thing. I'm, expect, I'm expecting the market to turn over. It almost did twice now. It's almost turned over. But I'm expecting it to really turn over and fall, the market. And when it does, I'm expecting... The subsequent stimulus measures to cause not only a market recovery, but to cause a bull market. But if you're thinking of investing in stocks to catch up on this bull market and stuff, first off, this crash that's coming is going to be severe. The bottom of this crash, yes, you could buy into the market. As soon as you see the Federal Reserve react, if you buy into the market, yes, you will do good. But you're doing good in dollars. We have to also remember that the dollar has been, that there's a totally different situation in the world in 1962. Right now we're dealing with a situation where the moorings of the dollar have all been taken away. And when the Fed goes back to these stimulus measures, whatever strength the dollar has now, the dollar's going to start losing it. So if you do invest in these markets after this crash is over and the markets are set for a, a large increase, which is what I'm expecting in this economic recovery, you're going to be making the money in dollars. Now you have to understand these other asset classes, they're going to take off too at the same time, like gold, silver, crypto. Gold and silver are due for a huge rally that's coming up. One of the things is, is, uh, is the banks now can count gold as a tier one asset class. You're just seeing the beginnings, the very seeds of a monster, monster, long, long bull run coming in gold and silver. But you have to understand, if you invest in this market, you might do all right, but you're, doing, you're going to be doing all right in dollars that have an exceedingly high inflation rate. You're going to still be invested in the dollar as this market probably recovers and goes back up, back into an economic recovery. That economic recovery is going to lead to hyperinflation. And so you could get trapped in dollars that are on their way to becoming worthless. So this is, this is going to be the, the, uh, the caveat for reinvesting in this market when this market hits bottom. So this is what I'm expecting. I'm expecting a huge slide in the markets, a reaction by the Fed, and then once that reaction happens, I'm expecting them to create a real economic recovery because they're going to overstimulate the economy. Then inflation's going to heat up and run away on them, and they can't do nothing to stop inflation. They can stop deflation. 
And that's what this market crash will happen. That's what will happen during. But you can see how short-lived it's going to be. Look at back at 1961 here. Look at what happened, 1961. By, by not even 1962, the market crash was over and it's already going back up again. It didn't last long. And that's the same thing I think is going to happen today. When this market rolls over, it's going to all be fast. Everything's going to happen fast. So your deflationary period is not going to last very long before the Fed relents and turns around and turns this market back around again. But we pro we can probably expect a little bit bigger crash than this one. So this one, would, this one, if we had the equivalent, would take us down to 18,000. I'm thinking that the crash we're going to see could take us down as low as 14,000. And so suddenly that the Fed doesn't have time to react. But they will react. And when they react, they do, will react quickly. But... I mean, what I mean to say is they don't have time. It takes them a few days. <laughs> they have to sit around the table, you know, and hash it over amongst themselves, you know. <laughs> this is what they always do. They're used to meetings. This, this is what, uh, this is what uh, academic people do. Meetings and meetings and meetings. Anyway, thank you guys for listening. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next show. Bye-bye, guys.